Welcome back to the all I never did single player world. A place where we relax and learn how to become better Minecrafters. In the background, Grisis number one and number two. And behind the tree, a uh, visitor. Maybe Grisis number three, who knows? <laughs> I have actually been a little interested in uh, how much I actually have learned so far throughout this uh, series. So I started a third book. And as you can see, it's uh, quite a lot already. And don't facepalm. Okay, I'm being very transparent here now. So I've learned that there is a biome called Cold Beach <laughs> and that you don't get any flint from gravel falling on a torch, only if you break it yourself. Items in a water stream can get stuck on top of hoppers. That's a change in 1.9, I think, but if you watch older videos, uh, you can get a little confused. I've learned how to make a slime block item launcher. That's the one we are standing on right now. It works better on items than with uh, entities, though. <laughs> I've learned how to build an etho Hopper clock, that's also behind me here. Uh, I've also learned how to build a rustic house, that's our, our main house here at Spawn. And you can find a brewing stand in an, an iglo, but it is without fuel. So you still need to go into the nether and uh, slaughter some blazes to get the fuel. You can put item frames on trapdoors. That's kind of cool. We did that indoors in our main house. Um, you can saddle a skeleton horse, but not put a lead on it. We learned that in episode 8. Silverfish can enter stone bricks. Uh, stone brick blocks. It should be here and transform them into monster eggs. I knew they could uh, crawl into regular stone blocks, but not the stone bricks. Uh, I built my first uh, small iron farm. I'm very proud of that. We did that in the last episode. Zombie pigmen can break wooden doors. I didn't know that. And a helmet on a zombie pigman will lose durability in the sunlight and eventually break. That uh, was told by Freddy Bushboy. Thank you for that. And as you can see in the background there, Grisis number two, the White Knight, um, still has his, his helmet and uh, with my new knowledge, I could move him back a little and I put some more leaves here too. And uh, the Dark Knight here, Grisis number one, he has been in the shades all the time. So that's why he got to keep his uh, helmet. Mystery solved. I thought we could go here to start things off. Um, I've just been AFK fishing and uh, I hope I got some mending books. That's slow. Um, yeah, let's take one unbreaking. That's always good to have. Um, yeah, maybe we can... Oh, mending! Great, great! Maybe we can move a villager here that has that... 
trade uh, because you need to fish for hours before you get a, a mending book. I think I have loads of the others here. Nothing interesting there. So uh, we'll take the water bottles. Why not? And fill our chest here. And uh, the rest can go to trash. Let's take the, the nice way back. <laughs> Maybe we can actually enchant something right away. I made another pick um, here. Uh, this one, Silke Sakan. Silke is a silk touch, of course. Uh, so I don't have to smelt so much stone all the time. So let's put the mending on that one. Great, and the unbreaking can go here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do in this episode is... Uh, uh, to sleep. Not time yet. Uh, but then go to the slime farm. I was down in the caves recently and I saw we have collected a lot of gravel. So much that we can drain that bit of water that's there. Uh, that is what has kept me from fi um, finishing working on the slime farm. So if we go get that gravel, and then we can go over to the slime farm. I have continued printing up some parts of the spawn here. This is the entrance to the caves. Looks a little nicer now. Um, <laughs> this little special design was because there is only one block in this area that has a light level of 8 and this is this is the block here so instead of adding some more light source here or some carpet or something i decided to make stairs here so nothing can spawn on it anyway is nice and when the tunnel will be even longer this will look even nicer uh, but let's see here we have uh, gravel here can we fit everything uh, maybe some more stone well this is plenty this will get us started nice and good I'm not sure what the best way is to build some kind of road here we should try to make a bridge of some sort or just uh, make the road go round here we'll see when this is a little more finished I guess but all of this is um, water under. So if we just start filling this in with gravel, let's see how far we, we can come. And now maybe we can fill in Oh, it's almost filled here. Let's do this. So we'll get a solid wall here. So I think all water is uh, drained now. So now starts the fun part. 
There might be a, a hole in the outer wall here, here and there maybe. That's easy to repair. So um, yeah, let's dig down, baby. There is a creeper outside my door here. I just saw him. Something tells me I should put in a back door <laughs> for these occasions. Is he still here? Oh! Maybe we can run past him. Doesn't he see me anymore? <laughs> Did we get him? I can hear him burning. Oh yes. It's a little more exciting this way. Anyway. I have been fishing again. I needed to repair. Oh, thank you. Uh, my pickaxes and my shovels. They are now back to full strength here. Uh, let's check real quick if we did get a mending book. Okay, nothing in that chest. No, okay. By the way, let's check on the... Oh, wow! This is not bad for this that small iron farm. That's what's great with uh, building it in the spawn chunks. It just keep producing whenever you do stuff anywhere in the game. Okay, no water bottles. Okay, let's trash it all. <laughs> Feels wrong somehow. Okay, anyway, back to work. It seems like we have almost come all the way here now. This is the, the top platform so far. 
I will add a few more. This is the hole. Kind of impressive, isn't it? Ah. So we are at the last layer here now. So I'm going to finish this, double check uh, how many platforms uh, is the most efficient. Do some more cleanup. See it's smooth stone all the way around here. I think that looks a lot nicer than uh, Look at the diorite, for instance. You just want to shave that off, don't you? Um, yeah, and then uh, we'll try the farm out. There are still some things to do design-wise. For instance, this chunk just comes shooting up like this. So either we need to make uh, the landscape here more organic, more natural somehow, or make the idea of this chunk uh, a little clearer that it's just this uh, square here. Maybe do something more with the walls, I don't know. Some art, maybe. Uh, and we also need to make an entrance, a proper entrance. But the form is uh, functional. The technical side of it is uh, done. And it is a very low-fi farm. Uh, when I started building this I had almost no resources at all. So I want to do a, a manual farm. Uh, now that we have the iron farm up and running we could do some more with it but I don't really see the point. Uh, I don't think we ever need that much slime in this world. Uh, so what you do is we attract the slimes ourselves here. Um, let's see if we can get this guy as well. Hello. And they come into the middle here. They cannot fit into this uh, too wide gap here. So they all gather down here. And uh, we are safe in here, so we can just slice away like this. Or if we feel adventurous and uh, want to play a little, we can, we can go in here and have some fun. Um, I thought of this as an XP farm and, you know, for, for XP and slime balls, but I'm not sure that uh, the XP really will, uh, it will be worth it. But um, we don't have any other XP farm at this point, so why not? And it's kind of fun coming down here now and then. And sometimes there is a lot of slime mobs here. This time, not so much. Oh, and we can drop off the balls here. And as you can see, will we ever need this much? We might think of some project. <laughs> um, but yeah, feels good. Let's leave this area now. So I want to do two things in preparation for 1.13. The first thing is uh, uh, preparing materials for this map table in 
1.13 we will be able to put maps in item frames on this table. Uh, so let's go prepare that material. We need uh, nine item frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if I calculated the sticks right. Uh, nine, yes. And uh, we need compasses. Let's do like this redstone. Uh, nine compasses, right? Wait. Com. Hmm. Isn't it like this? Why doesn't that recipe show up? Ooh, let's do it the old fashioned way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then. We should be able to make maps. Hmm. It should be like this. Oh, it feels like we are back at 1.11 again. Okay, nine maps. Great. Um. Hmm, I haven't done this in ages. Let's put everything back here first and then go back to the table. Okay, so... Um, you just right click, I think. Nice. Uh, okay, we are there. Uh, so I guess this goes into the middle block here. I guess that kind of depends on how we build here in spawn. Uh, so the corner up in the left there, it's, uh, it's that way. Maybe let's go there and just fill in that corner so that's, that's done. Okay, great. We didn't need to go all the way there. Uh, right. Let's just put these stuff away. Maybe we can put this this map on uh, the wall for now. And there is one more thing I want to do. And uh, that is finding a place for a uh, ice farm we will be able to craft the blue ice eventually. So we want a way to make a lot of ice because it is expensive. So the first alternative is up here. This is uh, extreme hills. So if you come high enough, it will snow there and uh, water will uh, turn into ice. How do I usually get up here? Like this. <laughs> this is a part where we... I don't record very often. I just have my sheep up here. So I come here now and then to snag some wool. Apart from that, we haven't done anything up here. And... Hmm... We need to come all the way up here. So either we need to build platforms in this height. There as well works. Uh, or we will make a, just a small farm here. I had plans for a tower here, actually. But uh, we could build that tower there instead. 
Okay, alternative number two is uh, over there. In the taiga, or the cold beach. This would maybe fit a little better. And you can build the farm uh, at any height. The benefit of the extreme hills though is um, that it's closer to spawn where we will spend most of our time. So if we build it here it might not be loaded. We need to experiment with that, see if it if it will be working when we are over there. Uh, but I have been wanting to, to build here anyway. So... Maybe this beach part isn't the nicest. Let's just have a quick peek over the hill here. Hmm, and it seems like the water isn't turned to ice in the middle here. Uh, let's see, cold beach and this must be ocean then, okay. This could be a cool place if that wasn't the case. Um, anyway, let's think about it a little. Let me know what you think. But let's end it the way we started it, with the Things I've Learned book. As you can see, I have uh, changed the floor back here, in the entrance to the branch mine. Because I was under the illusion that mobs could spawn on or in light level 8 and down. That's not the case. I read up on the wiki. <laughs> so I think we need to put that in the book. Most hostile mobs can spawn in light level 7 and down. Not level 8. So with this cringy new knowledge. Thank you for being with me in uh, this episode of All I Never Did. And uh, I hope to see you next time. <laughs>